him and Orlin look like two little boys in love. And now he just looks like this overweight, psychotic, just grotesque human being. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on fam? It's your boy Papa Swolio back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you so much for being here. It is a rainy day down here in Florida, but I got my coffee and what else do we have? We got some Nico Cotto Fuck Ocado. That's right, Nico Cotto Avocado. And I want to talk about his reverse transformation. It's not even a transformation, it's a fucking reverse transformation. Some people might also call it a train wreck, but I digress, we'll get into it in just a moment. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button and check all the links down below for Swolnormous Apparel and to join the Swole Fam. You can get started for less than three bucks. All the details are down below and you can check out all the other memberships with full programs, yoga studio, all that amazing stuff. Plus got a free class down there for you. I still believe it's there. Go check it out if you haven't already. So. This video, like I said, is about Nico Cotto Avocado. Now, this is one of the top five face fuckers on YouTube. Now, this guy has this marketing web of like four channels. His boy Orlin is uh, a mukbanger and a face fucker as well. And this couple, or Nico Cotto in particular, but you'll see in these clips that it's him and his husband, I believe, Orlin, that have transitioned from veganism. Uh, we eat a raw fruit and veggie diet to, what would you call that he is now? Just pure debauchery, just pure, pure, just gluttonous, disgusting shit. Just stomach jiggles and, anyway, I'll let you check out the clips as well. This video that I'm talking about today is actually a video that Nico Cotto posted. This was posted on January 23rd. So this is essentially, according to social media, this is an old message, this is ancient. This is like going back archeology span when it comes to social media five months ago because he's been talking about gaining weight to get to 300 fucking pounds. He's been trying, actively trying to get to 300 fucking pounds, actively trying to get to 300 fucking pounds. Now, if you don't know, 40 to 50% of the United States population is overweight, obese, and after the stay at home orders, people are just fucking their face with food, people are eating shit, it's not getting better. It keeps on getting progressively worse and worse and worse and worse. And I feel like the more I look at Nico Cotto's garbage content, the more that he just embodies what it means to be a healthy, or should I say lack thereof, unhealthy American. He's like literally encapsulates just the gluttonous, lazy, crying out for attention on social media type shit. His channel has gone from, you could see when he was a vegan. Now I'm not a vegan. I don't believe in avoiding all animal products. That's not my personal take. For a lot of people, it works. So if you're a vegan, this is not about vegan versus meat and vice versa. But he was eating real food. I think we can all agree that if you are a vegan and you're eating avocados and you're eating real food, you're not eating just fucking pure ramen. You're not just shoving garbage fast food in your fucking face. You're eating real food it makes a big difference. You can see how thin he is, too skinny in my opinion, uh, very, very emaciated looking, but he was calm. His skin looked better. He looked more happy. He just looked, he was chill. But what is it that really drove him insane? It's a combination of fucking his face with garbage food for years, as well as social media and this clout and this clamoring for attention because the more outrage you cause, the more views you get. That's why all his videos are trolling completely. This video, Vegan Days versus Now, January 23rd, 2020, 20,000 upvotes and 12,000 downvotes. 12,000, that's almost a 50-50 split. This is like a 60-40, 70-30, whatever the fucking math is. That's a huge percentage of dislikes. That's really bad. That's almost like Jake Paul fucking level dislikes. So this guy obviously gets a lot of pushback, but he leans into it. He leans into that drama. He leans into the negativity. But what is it really showing? It shows that social media is causing a massive psychological decline with people. Because when you keep on going after the views, when you keep on making content specifically for the fucking views, and 
you're only eating garbage fucking food. This is just a recipe for fucking disaster. It's so unhealthy. And when we start addressing how much impact food makes on psychological health, it answers so many fucking questions. If you're exercising, sleeping right, hydrating, remember what I always talk about with the seven pillars of Solnormous. Remember, if you haven't downloaded your copy, you can get your copy free at SwolnormousX.com. It's right there at the top. The link is down below for Swolnormous X. but the seven pillars of Swolnormous. If you cover those pillars and you focus on those seven areas, you are going to get amazing results. If you're recovering properly, if you're hydrating, if you're doing yoga, you're meditating, you're exercising regularly, you're eating right, you're surrounding yourself with good fucking people, where do you end up like Nico Cotto? You don't. You don't. If you're covering all aspects of your wellness, you are going to have a tight circle. You're gonna surround yourself with positive people. You're gonna be exercising, you're gonna be sleeping better, you're gonna be eating right. You don't end up like fucking Nico Cotto. So this is like a cross section. This is like, this is an example of what it means to be an American today when it comes to health. Not giving a fuck about exercise, not giving a fuck about your eating, not giving a fuck about your mental health, actually exploiting your own lack of mental health, exploiting your own disease, exploiting your own diabetes. If he's not diabetic already, he will be. He's pre-diabetic easily. And he's going to be a diabetic. He's gonna have some major fucking problems. He's not an old dude. You can see him when he's younger. Him and Orlin, they look like little boys because they are fucking little boys. It shows what food does. It destroys your body. It ages you tremendously. He looks like a fucking child. He looks like a little fucking boy. Him and Orlin look like two little boys in love. And now he just looks like this overweight, psychotic, just grotesque human being. He's like a shell of what he used to be. And he's a huge fucking shell. Now this is not making fun of his weight. This is just in disgust because this is getting tons and tons of exposure. This gets millions of views. His vegan days versus now got a million views. And it's really sad to see what someone went to by choice. It was his choice to go this direction. Now why, was it all for the views, it all for the money? Is there a combination, like it started off as like a joke and then it just steamrolled? Like what the fuck is going on? But this is the kind of content that gets a lot of views. This is the kind of content that gets a lot of traction and he knows it, which is why he has four or five or six or seven fucking channels. And the reason why he leans into pissing people off, he knows he's obese, he knows he's grotesque, he shakes his belly, he pisses people off because people like myself wanna put sack on fucking chins. He knows that channels like mine, reaction channels, all these other people are gonna bring the fucking attention because whether it's positive or negative, it's attention. And this translates to so many aspects of human society. Wherever the attention is, good or bad, that's where people go. And that's what happens a lot in society today. And when it comes to our fucking health, this is atrocious. This is a massive, massive problem. And I feel like this video just encompasses all the issues with health in the United States. I feel like this fucking sums it up. Like just scrolling through this fucking video, like the posts are ridiculous. Everyone in the comments is just, I can't believe he brought Orlin along with him. I can't believe he's doing this to himself. It's alarming. I can't even be disgusted. I'm just sad. People are sad when they watch this fucking video. Do you know what it's like for someone to watch your video and just feel bad for you? When I make these videos, I made a bunch on Nico Kato. And yeah, I do it for the attention, for the views, because his name attracts a lot of attention. But I also have tools. Like I always say, fam, I back that sack up. I have Swolnormous X. I have things that can help him, you, everyone else take back their fucking health and cover all the aspects of their wellness. So I have a message, which is why I go after people like him. But it's like, like how much rage can I have? Like I'm pissed, but it's more like despair. How can you look at yourself in the mirror? How can you actively do this? He's not just quietly in a corner, depressed and really feeling bad for himself. He is promoting it. He is making it out to be a positive. He is benefiting, profiting off of it. And that's really fucking sick and twisted and sad and depressing. It's just really fucking weird. I don't get how people can watch it. How can you have 20,000 thumbs up in this video? How can people thumbs it up? How can you have a positive feedback on these fucking videos? How fucked up does the audience have to be to support shit like this? It's fucking gross. It's killing him and it's killing millions and millions and millions of other fucking people that no one seems to care about because it takes actual work. You can't just stop eating because your habits are so intertwined with all the other things that keep you fucking fat, that keep you unhealthy. So 
People don't quit. They're addicted to their drugs. Why would they quit? So these kinds of things are just spinning out of control. More and more muckbangers and face fuckers are popping up every fucking day. But what are your thoughts, fam? Drop it down below what you think about maybe vegan Nikocado. You think about Nikocado now. Have you seen this video? Have you seen this transition? It is shocking. It is shocking, the transition. You wanna see what it looks like when you exercise and eat real food, vegan or not, real food. And when you go and you eat fast food and all this fucking shit and you don't exercise and you do the opposite of the seven pillars, you follow your own wellness or you do that. It's so fucked up. But what are your thoughts, fam? Drop it down below. And remember, if you wanna check out Swolenormous X and join the Swole Fam, myself and the fucking Swole Fam crush fitness, nutrition, wellness, meditation, yoga, everything, go check out swolenormousx.com. You have access to everything the Swole Fam has to offer and more with unlimited memberships. But like I mentioned, you can get started for less than three bucks. You could also check out the yoga studio, the meditation center, all the programs, all the training and nutrition and more over at swolenormousx.com. Fam, and I will see you real soon for some more salty, vinegary nuts on your chin. Peace. You know what they say, fam. Once you go peppermint, you can't go back. Mmm. If you just touch it right there, real soft and gentle like. <laughs> oh my god, it fucking tickles. But I'll tell you what, I like it. Ain't gonna lie, I do what feels good. Mmm, don't you wanna feel good? Come here, baby. I got you. I got you. Come here, give me a kiss. Mmm, 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 Posted up with a running crown. You are the king of the policy. You about to see.